Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. I am extremely excited for today's video because I'm going to be trying out Huda Beauty's new line, Glowish. She came out with these skin tints as well as these really interesting looking bronzers. I'm so excited to put these products on my face. I am really loving this new era of Huda Beauty. The products are on the more natural side, which is for sure up my alley. And I love how everything is about loving the skin that you're in. And it's really nice to see the shift in packaging. The packaging is a lot more sustainable than past products. So in today's video, I'm of course going to be doing my first impressions and then I'll throw in a little wear test in here. And of course, I'll be wearing these products throughout the month so I can give you a full review of them in my roundup video. So now that I gave you the lowdown, before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me and let's get to it. So so before I start applying the products, I'll tell you a little bit more about this brand. I got this really nice info sheet here. I'll also include a picture of it so you can pause to read it all if you'd like. It says here that we borrowed the glow from Huda Beauty's complexion range and the wish from Wishful that made all our skin dreams come true. This line was apparently two years in the making and it says here that it's more than makeup. Glowish is the perfect in-between treatment packed with good for skin ingredients for maximum dewiness and glow. Doesn't that sound dreamy? So now a little bit about the multi-dew skin tint, which is this product right here. First of all, the packaging is really, really cute. I like how the reflect on here is like an iridescent green. It's it's a cute touch, I like it. So this skin tint is a luminous, moisture-packed skin tint that instantly blurs and brightens for a radiant, soft focus and dewy finish. It has a sheer coverage that is super blendable and literally gives you a second skin vibe. And it says here that it has a fuss-free application, which I adore, I talk about that all the time here. So this skin tint is vegan and it's never tested on animals. It's also fragrance-free, waterproof, transfer-proof, and non-comedogenic. I received three shades in the glow tint. Is that what it's called? Or did I just make that up? Yeah, I did. Multi-dew skin tint, pardon me. <laughs> so I got the shade Fair, Fair Light, and Light. I'm going to be using Fair Light today. I did swatch this earlier to shade match myself so we can get the show on the road. So I just squirted two pumps of that on the back of my hand. And I'd just like to thank myself at 2 a.m. last night. I got up out of bed because I was bored and I washed all my brushes. What a weird time to do that, but I'm grateful for it. So I'm going to use this brush right here. This is the MAC 170 brush. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I should have, oh, okay. It's a little bit more impactful than I thought. I'm gonna see how this goes with a brush because that's my preferred application. I'm not the biggest fan of applying products with my fingers, but so far so good. It's looking nice. It does have a bit of coverage. There's been so many skin tints. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I'm gonna need to do like a, a showdown by myself so I can compare all of them. So far, the claim that this applies very easily is very true because it's just going on like a breeze. And I didn't have any primers or anything on my face underneath of this. I just had my skincare SPF and all of that good stuff, just so I can see how this wears all by itself. So far, looks phenomenal. It is very glowy. It looks like it might have like a pearl in it. What it's looking like on my skin right now, it looks exactly like the Super Goop Glow Screen, but with like a tint, obviously. There must be a pearl in here because it doesn't feel tacky at all to be this glowy, if that makes sense. But I do enjoy the way that looks so far. It feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Like it feels like I don't have anything on my skin. Okay, so here is the skin tint on. I gotta say, I don't know if I'm super loving this compared to the other skin tints I've been using. It looks like a little bit too shiny for me. And since I have an oilier skin type, it's just gonna get shinier and shinier as the day goes on. So I don't know if this is going to last on my oily skin that well. But I will say that it feels very comfortable. I'm not aware of it at all on my skin. It doesn't feel greasy or heavy in any way or form. I'm gonna have to see. Right now, I feel unsure. It applied with ease, no issues with the application at all. It's sitting on my skin really nicely. It corrected the redness, but it still is allowing my skin to shine through and it looks quite natural up close. It just might be a little too reflective for my tastes. So now for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix in the shade Golden Ivory 2. I've been obsessed with this 
I didn't think I was going to love this as much as I do, but I have been using it every day. And someone asked me how it compares to the Glossier concealer, and I do prefer this one because it's not as dewy and finished, so it doesn't tend to crease into my fine lines as much. I find with the Glossier one, even if I set it a ton with powder, near the end of the day, I'll still have some settling into my fine lines just because it's such a, a wet texture. This one does have like a more matte texture in comparison but it still feels very hydrating. Loving this stuff, I can't stop using it. I did a little bit of digging and I pulled this product up on Sephora here on my computer and it does say that it has a pearlescence in here and one of her tips is to add a drop to your foundation as a dewy boost or you can add a bit to your cheekbones for a natural yet radiant highlight. So that's fun, you can use it in a bunch of different ways. I was going to say that this would be a fun one to mix into other products, but I don't know if I'm loving how glowy this is as like a sole base. You let me know what you guys think. So now for a little bit of powder, I'm going to use my Pat McGrath under eye powder, and I'm just keeping this under my eyes for right now because I'm going to be going in with more creams and such in a moment. Oh, and how rude of me, I didn't give you a close up. I'll give you a close up right when I'm done. Here we go, ready? Whee! So here's my skin. I think I'm just a little bit hesitant. With all that pearl essence in there, it kind of enhances all the texture I have. Like I'm very aware of all the texture I have here, which I wasn't really aware of. You know, I'm used to it over here and here, but what was it? Now it's bronzer time, and I'm really excited about these because these look super cool. I did swatch one of them so it looks a little mixed together, but this is what it looks like when you first receive them. This is the shade Tan Light. So pretty. This one is medium. Like how pretty does that look? Looks like coffee with a bit of creamer and it's just starting to mix. And this one is the lightest one, which is light. And I swatched this one. How could I not? Can you blame me? Like, so fun to touch. This is available in five universal shades. It says here that it's a beautiful light as air bronzer that instantly adds warmth to take you from a natural sun-kissed glow to a more contoured look in just a few swipes. It has a velvety, creamy, and super buildable formula and it also has a radiance running through it. It says that it has a silk-like formula and it also has blurring pigments that blend seamlessly. So it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. So again, this one is fragrance-free, transfer-proof, and non-comedogenic. So let's see how this goes. I don't know which color I'm going to be using. Let's swatch all three of them on the back of my hand. Kind of sad to be destroying the pretty swirl here. Okay, so here are the three shades swatched. So this one is light, this one is medium, and this one over here is tan light. I'm going to be using this shade right here to medium. And I did receive these two brushes with the collection, but I'm not going to be using these today because they're very different from what I usually use and I don't wanna switch up my techniques because I don't wanna blame it on the brush. You know, I'm just gonna stick to what I know and test those out a different time. Here we go, I'm gonna be using my Moda Angled Blush Brush. I'll start off on my forehead. Oh yeah, that's adding it very, very, very slowly. It's a lot more sheer than I was expecting. I like what I see so far. That is applying beautifully. And especially if you're a heavy-handed person with bronzer, this one builds so slowly, so I feel like you'd really enjoy this one. I really like this color too. I feel like it suits the tan I have going on on my chest right here. It's like the same color. I love that color. I love that color. I love the application. It was so easy and seamless. It has like a really nice radiance running through it, but I'm not sure if that's just from the skin tint underneath, but from what I'm seeing, it's so flawless. There's no line of demarcation. That was really, really easy to use. And I do see the blurring aspects that it has. I look so soft. I like being soft. That is a winner in my books already. Like that feels amazing. For my highlighter, I'm going to be using this one from Flower Beauty. This is the Day Glow Highlighting Glaze in the shade Ablaze. I've been loving this stuff. It's so nice. I'm just gonna apply that with my finger. I feel like it'll suit the vibe of this look as well. Very 
warm and glowy but natural at the same time. For my eyes today, I think I'm going to be doing a pink graphic liner. So I think this blush will suit the look perfectly. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Puff. I haven't used a pink blush in a minute. So I squirted some on the back of my hand and I'm going to be applying that with my Quo Beauty foundation brush and I'm gonna apply it higher up on my cheek right here. And since this has like a cooler pink undertone to it, I won't be putting it on my nose because I find that that looks a little bit weird with cooler colors. Okay, I lied. Maybe just like a little bit. I can't. No, it looks good. I'm such a liar. There we are. So now I'm just gonna go quickly prime my eyes and put on my eyebrows. So please enjoy the intermission. Okay, brows and eyes are primed. I used a different colored pencil this time and I went a little, a little hard on them. So they're a bit more filled in than I'm used to. That's totally okay. I'm gonna take some of my Kosas Cloud Set powder just to see what this does, because I'm a bit unsure of my skin right now. So we'll see how it looks on my forehead. That makes a good difference. This stuff tends to really, really enhance any texture, but this cloud set is such a good blurring powder that it just softens everything. Yeah, much, much more happy with this. So now for the eyes, I wanted to try something a little different, and I'm going to take my Danessa Myricks Color Fix Matte in the shade Lift, and I'm going to scrape a bit of this pink eyeshadow from this ColourPop palette into it to create a eyeliner because I don't have a pink eyeliner in the color I'm wanting. So I'm gonna mix something custom. And I really wanted to see if I could make this work because if it works, it's going to open a whole door of opportunities. Okay, so I squirted some of the color fix onto this palette and I scraped some of that pink eyeshadow into it, mixed it up and it created this beautiful soft bubblegum pink. It's exactly what I was looking for today. And it looks like it's going to work really nicely. I just have to work a little quick so this doesn't set up. I'm going to be taking this Royal and Langnickel Angled Eyeliner Brush. I'm gonna start on my outer waterline, follow that angle. I'm just going through and thickening up the line because I was envisioning it to be a bit more dramatic. I'm also going to take some on the top of my lashes, just a little bit. Oh, now it's starting to get a little patchy, that's sad. No! Oh my God. Damn it, I got it all over my arm. Oh. How did that even get to my elbow? So you can't add multiple layers. It looks like it picks it up from underneath itself a bit, but pretty good. Not bad for such a pastel shade. Not the best, not the worst. Oh my God. Sometimes I can be so messy. Insane. I'm gonna go try to do this eye off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's where we're at. I would suggest applying this as a base first, like doing the eyeliner, then going in with a pink shadow and pressing it on top instead of mixing it into the formula because I think it's making a little bit chalky and a little texture enhancing, but it's just something I really wanted to see if it worked. It does kind of, it's still applied nice-ish, but I think if you were to apply and press the shadow on top, it'd be a lot smoother and more blurred, but not bad. I'm going to grab some of the bronzer once again, and I'm going to just throw it under my eye here, just so that I have a little bit of definition here. I'm going to give my lashes a good squeeze before applying mascara to them. By the way, I use the Shu Amara eyelash curler. I've had this thing for like four years and it's the best, best one out there, I swear. For my top lashes, I'm going to be using the Warrior Princess Mascara from Flower Beauty. This stuff is incredible. Really, really great mascara. It's very volumizing and lengthening, which is what I want for this look. I need like an intense lash with this. The only thing that I would change is the wand. It's a little bit big, so I get little dots on my eyeshadow, but I can flick them off easily. I'm just gonna let this dry so I can flick it off later, but for my lower lashes, I'm using the M Cosmetics Pick Me Up Mascara. There's a big thunderstorm rolling in, so we might get some thunder action again. I just grabbed my Vesca highlighter. I'm gonna throw some of this 
into my inner corner. Actually, I'm going to take the pink highlighter from in here, the Huda Beauty Light Glow Obsessions, and I'm gonna throw that in there. Yeah, that's better with the pink. I'm just gonna be taking a spoolie. Oh, I don't think that was set up yet. There, that one was. So here are the eyes all done. Not entirely what I was going for, but I think it's still cute with the subtle face makeup. So now let's move on to the lips. It's getting darker and darker in here. Um, just the last thing I wanna add to my face is a few freckles. I feel like this look would look really cute with them. I'm gonna be using my freck. I applied the freckles in kind of an unrealistic manner. Usually if you'd have freckles right here, you'd have them like a little bit on your forehead and on your eyelids up here a bit, just anywhere. But I'm just gonna keep it at that right now, the more false way, I guess. I think that tied in this whole look. That really made a difference. I really like that now. So now let's move on to the lips for real. <laughs> so for my lips, I'm going to be using one of these new lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. These are so cute if you're getting married. They're so beautiful on the inside and outside. The packaging is so cute. Even the little sticker on the bottom here is a little heart. Here are the three swatches. This one is Miss Kisses. This is Nude Romance. And this one over here is Wedding Bells. I think I'm gonna go for Wedding Bells. I think that'd be cute, just sheerly applied. But the packaging is so beautiful. Look, Ooh, gotta move my head. Very cute. And when you open it up, this diamond stays there. It's just really fancy schmancy feeling. And they have cute little engravings on the actual lipstick. I'm going to line my lips and define them with the M Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Bunny. And now I'm patting a little bit of this color on, which I don't know if this actually suits the look very well. It's kind of a contradicting color to the cheek and the eye in this. I don't know, it adds more. <laughs> it's a really pretty color. Disregard everything, I really like that color. Nope, not it. I'm gonna figure something else out. Okay, I think I found a better combination. I'm going to line my lips with the Pat McGrath Buff Lip Liner. I need to find like a better, cooler pink lip product for my lips because I always find that they look too ashy on me or something. All of my pinker lip products lean a lot more peachy, so it's a little bit of a struggle when I use pink on my cheeks and eyes. And now I'm going to apply the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. Okay, so here is the finished final look. We made it through. I really like how the entire look turned out. I think my skin looks pretty good now that I added that powder. It's still like a little bit texture enhancing for my liking. I feel like I wouldn't reach for this skin tint as much as the other ones I've been using, like the NARS one, the Fenty one. What else? There's been so many. <laughs> M Cosmetics one, the Milk one, and the Maybelline one I've been trying out. I think I like all of those far more than this one. I think this one has too much of a pearl for me. I feel like this would be really good if you had a normal or drier skin type. I feel like you would really enjoy this if you like that really glowy look. It's not the worst, but it's not my favorite. I think my skin looks really nice and smooth. I think I just need to try it out a couple more times before making a final decision. We'll see how this wears throughout the day today. But I have to say that the bronzer, I am really, really excited about. I feel like this is a product I'm going to reach for a lot. Not only is it really unique, it's very beautiful, super easy to use and blend out. I feel like if I'm in a rush, I'd reach for that one because it was so easy to blend out. I didn't get any patchiness or weird things happening on my face at all. So I'm going to go about my day do a couple things around the house, and then I'll check up with you guys in a little bit. Hello everyone, future Julia here coming in for the checkup. And before I look up close in a mirror, I just wanted to say that I really loved how my makeup looked today. It looked phenomenal in photos, on camera, and whenever I saw myself in the mirror, I really liked what I saw. But I will say as the day progressed, I started to feel more and more aware that I was wearing makeup. It started to feel a bit heavy throughout the day, like, it just felt pretty greasy feeling, oily feeling, if that makes sense. Like it felt like my makeup was kind of slipping around, even though I wasn't like touching my face or anything like that. 
So now I'm going to pick up my mirror and look up close. I will say like looking in the viewfinder here, I'm a lot more shiny than I would usually like. And I can see that it kind of looks like a little bit separated from my skin. Like it looks like it's kind of sitting on top and not really meshing well with my skin. And usually with the other skin tints I use often, they kind of get better as they wear, if that makes sense, especially with the Fenty one and the NARS one, those like get better with age. This one, I don't know, I really liked how it looked on camera more so in person. I did not touch up my face at all today and it has faded around my nose because I did have an itchy nose attack a little bit ago and I could not stop scratching it. So I have like no makeup around there, but just my entire skin feels very, very greasy. And even in the areas I don't tend to get oily, like over here, it's such a weird angle. I'm like trying to show you the glow. <laughs> it's like too, too, too greasy feeling. So I'm not too sure how I feel about this product. I feel like it's not my favorite so far. It is only the first use. So I definitely want to try this again, maybe with other products, but just first impression, not my super fave. In my everyday life, I do usually touch up my skin at least once throughout the day. I just add a little bit of powder in the center of my face just to refresh it and so I don't look too, too oily. So I'm gonna do that right now. I just picked up this powder. This is the Milk one and I'm gonna use this brush. This is the blush brush from Moda. I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. I'm just gonna do exactly what I usually do. I'm gonna see how this helps. I have a feeling that it might just kind of cake on. No, it's definitely helping a lot. Definitely way better, but still, when I look at my face up close, it looks like the makeup is standing off my face still. It doesn't mesh well, which is too bad. I had a lot of high hopes for this, but I'm feeling quite unsure for the skin tint. For the bronzer, that's a whole other story. Feel really excited about it. I feel like it stayed put quite well, especially with that slippery base underneath. I'm excited to see how it reacts with my other favorite foundations. That's something I feel like is going to be a product I reach for a lot. Something that's going to be in my rotation. Really excited to be using that for the rest of the month. Oh, I forgot to mention how long I've been wearing this makeup. It's been around six and a half hours. So not a whole lot of time and my makeup is looking pretty expired. <laughs> I looked at myself in the mirror just a little bit ago and I was like, I'm ready to take this makeup off and go watch TV. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'm not super impressed. I feel a bit disappointed. I was super excited for this collection, but I feel a little bit let down. But that's just my first experience. I'll let you know if things change, of course, in my roundup video. But now let's catch up with past Julia for the outro. That is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of the products I used in today's video in the description down below as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.